Hello, hello, hello. Greetings to all. In this video, we're going to learn how to install Crunchyroll on an LG Smart TV with WebOS operating system. The first thing I have to mention is that to carry out this process, we're going to need two things. The first, of course, is to have an LG Smart TV connected to the Internet. And it is essential that this is WebOS version 4.0 or later. That is, that it has been a television since approximately the year 2018. If the TV is older than WebOS 4.0, you won't be able to do the process as it won't be supported. And secondly, we're going to need a PC. It doesn't matter if it's a laptop, a desktop, a Mac or Windows. It doesn't matter. You're going to need to be able to access a PC. Once you have these two things, I'd like to let you know that obviously not all the applications in the world will be able to be installed on our television. But it's true that if we can only install the applications that appear in the LG content store, we're going to expand them and we'll be able to install more. So now, once we're clear about these things, let's start. We're going to have to do the first step from the PC, entering the browser and then entering the address you see up there. os.elgaccount.com slash login slash sync in. You have to put it just as you're seeing it. Anyway, I'll leave you the link down in the description so you can go straight to it. Once you're on the web page, all you have to do is create an LG account. So we click here where it says create account. In the next step, we're going to have to accept LG's terms and conditions. So we click up here where it says select all, scroll down to the bottom and click accept. Next, it's going to ask us to enter a user ID and a password. I recommend that you put your email address here to avoid any issues with confirmation later on. After entering the email and password before continuing, you need to click here where it says check availability to confirm that the email is valid and can be used. As you can see, it states valid email for use. We close it, tick this box here and click confirm. As you can see in the next step, we are informed that the LG account has been created and we have a confirmation email in the account we entered earlier. So now we will have to go to this email and verify the account. Once you have completed the email account validation process, you can proceed directly to logging in. Here, you don't need to enter the same details we used earlier to create the account. It's extremely important that you log in. In other words, start the session before beginning the process. Obviously, this step must be done. Once you've entered your email and password again, which we previously entered, we're going to click on Remember, then click on Login. As you can see right now, we're already logged into our LG account. So we're done with the PC and back to the TV for now. The next thing we need to do, as I say already on the TV, is to access the LG App Store, the LG Content Store. Once inside, we're going to go to the search magnifying glass. Once here, you need to type developer mode into the search box. As you can see, just by typing developer, we get here developer mode, you enter. And this is the app you need to install on your TV. So you go in to install it and obviously click here where it says install. Once we've installed it, we return to the TV's main menu, find it, which will have stayed here on the right and open it. As soon as you enter, you'll be asked to log in with a username and password. So, of course, you need to use the same username and password that you used earlier to create your LG account. Once we've set up the credentials, which I don't know if you can see, but they're there, we're going to click on the right where it says Login. It's possible that right now, when you've entered your username and password and clicked Login, the TV will show you a message like this that came up for me, okay? It says, to try again, and that to proceed, we must visit the LG developer website, which is developer.lga.com. So once this message appears, it may or may not appear. In other words, 
it may appear or it may not. In the event that you get this message when you log in, we're still on the PC. Back on the PC, we're going to do what the television tells us. Enter the website developer.lga.com. Once we are on the website, the first thing we have to do is select this option here. The one that says WebOS TV. We click on it. And as you can see, it takes us to another website. Here we'll have to go to the top right where it says Sync In. As you can see, it launches us to a website very, very similar to the one we had before, if not exactly the same. Here again, we will have to enter the username and password that we have created. Once we have it, we click on Sync In again, and as you can see, we get a pop-up message here on the left in which we have to click Add LG Service. Now, as you can see, we're going to accept everything. We're going to go down, we're going to accept. It will ask us for a username or a nickname. We are going to try until it lets us put one. As you can see, this one is available. We close it and save. Now, as you can see, I'm already registered on the WebOS TV developer website, and I'm logged in since it says sync out here. I'm logged into my account. Once we've done that, we can go back to TV. Now back on this screen, we put the password back, and once we have it, we click on Login again. As you can see, now it has moved on to the next step. So as I said, it may be that the error in the login comes out or not. If you get it, remember to do that second step on your PC. On this screen, we have different information. On one side on the left, we have information about our television. It tells us whether it's connected wirelessly or by cable, along with the IP. As you can see, in my case, it's connected by cable and not by Wi-Fi. Another important part is this one here, where it says passphrase. In this case, you won't be seeing anything because I'm covering it up, okay? Because this is important, what appears here, and we're going to need it later to be able to install the applications. But this phrase or this numeric code is important, and we can't teach it. Having said that on this page, the first thing we need to do is click here and change the dev mode status from off to on. Once you do this, the TV will restart. As you can see, we are told here that the device is going to reboot when switching to dev mode status. So we press restart and wait for the TV to turn on again. Once the TV restarts and we are back in the main menu, we go back to the right and reopen the developer mode application. As you can see, it directly enters us. It tells us that it's on the dev mode status. And you can see here that a counter appeared, which is the time our session will be kept open or logged in here in the developer mode. As you can see, it gives us 999 hours and 56 minutes, meaning this is going to be open for a thousand hours. Don't worry, this doesn't mean that when this time ends, you'll be locked out and unable to re-enter. From here, where it says Extend Session Time, you can press, and this number, as you'll see now, extends and changes back to 59. That is, each time you enter and click here, all the hours will be added again. Thus, do not worry about being a bit alert is enough. The next thing we need to do on this screen is to activate the case server. So we're going to click here and turn it on. Now once you're at this point and these two options are activated, it's essential that you note both the IP address and the IP passphrase, this thing that you're not seeing at all, but that actually does put a thing underneath. Write down these two things because we're going to go back to the PC and you're going to need them. But it's important to remember to leave this screen as it is. That is, leave the TV as you have it and don't leave the application. So. As I just mentioned, but we're going back to the PC and we're going to have to download an application called Dev Manager Desktop. The you can find here on this website that you're looking at above. Don't worry either because I'm going to leave it in the description and here you'll need to select the appropriate app or version with your operating system. On this website, we must scroll down and look here where it says Relays. Once you click, as you can see, the latest version will open, which is 1. 13.3, we scroll down, 
and we will have to download the version of our operating system. In this case, I have a Mac, so I'm going to download the DMG, which is for Mac OS operating systems. If you have a Windows version, you will need to download either its 32 or 64 bit version. In any case, whatever your operating system, you open the application and as you can see on the first screen, it will ask you to select which mode you want to use. We select the first one, use developer mode and click next. The next step you can skip directly. We have already done everything. We can give it skip without any problem and here as you can see, it will ask us what I have asked you to sign up for before, the IP address and the passphrase. You can give it a name if you want. In this case, I'm going to put LG OLED CX, which is mine, and we're going to put the data that I told you to sign up for and that the TV application has given us. And once you have both data set, click on Finish. As you can see, after a brief moment of loading, our television screen shows a number of options. Once we've reached this point, it's a piece of cake. We'll just head over to the Available section and directly see Crunchyroll appearing here. We'll simply click on it, hit Install, and after a short moment we won't have to wait too long. As you can see, it says it's installed. Back on the TV, we can exit Developer Mode, press the Home button, return to the main menu, and if everything went smoothly, Crunchyroll is right here on the right, as you can see. Well guys, this brings us to the end of the video. As always, I hope I've been of help. If so, don't forget to hit me up with a good like, which is super important. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. That's all from me for now. As always, it's been a pleasure. See you in the next video.